hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is I'm opening up, checking out, and giving my first little opinion and review of this Ultra Pro Two Pocket Pro Binder. This is the smallest little binder that I've ever seen. Smaller than the size of my hand, I can pick it up with one hand. I thought it'd be perfect because I wanted a small little binder to hold some cards in a secure place and able to put it in a small little storage as well. And I thought this would be the perfect thing. These aren't super expensive. You could probably get one for around like eight or nine dollars, which is pretty good price, I would say. And uh, this is holds up to 80 cards in Ultra Pro Death Protector sleeves. We'll check that out and see what it's about. Ultra Pro Two Pocket Pro Binder holds up to 80 cards. It says acid free, non PVC, archive, archive safe, two pocket pages, embossed middle black web material frames cards, side loading pockets designed for added card protection. So we'll see which way this side loading means. Maybe the openings in the center, which I hope so you can slide the cards in here just so they won't fly out the edges, but we'll see everything about that. Uh, it just says avoid suffocation. D -d -d got a little metal ring right there. It just says ultra pro on it. Let's just open up and see what's about. This is the cutest little um, card portfolio binder that I've ever seen. Super small. All right, let's just check out the binder itself. It's a very small form. I can literally pick it up with one of my hands. Probably the smallest portfolio that you can probably get uh, for trading cards and stuff like that that I'm aware of. I'm not sure if there's one that just has one card length. That would be pretty interesting. I'd probably like to do a review on that as well. But anyways, this is the two. It has two cards in each sheet. This is the white version. There is a black version as well. There is the west elastic waistband on it. Really nice and tight, not worried about opening up or anything like that. You just close it up with the waistband. You don't have to worry about the pages or anything flopping out or cards flying out, which is pretty nice. Um, just flip it over. You can see it's just some sort of thin, thicker plastic design, very thin in the middle. Um, not super bendy or anything like that. Pretty rigid, which is what you want. And uh, you can see a bit of the elastic band through this back portion right here. Let's just open it up and see what's about you just literally just take off the band you flip it open you can see right off the bat um nice thick construction board um there are the two sections right here so there are two cards per sheet and it looks like in the middle there is this kind of uh indentation right here where the it looks like a heated press kind of combined them together kind of heat welded the plastics together i'm sure you could probably rip it off if you wanted but i'm not going to try anything like that i'm pretty confident that it is stuck together really nice i do like this binder as well because if you want to there are four cards here you could possibly put play sets on each of the pages just keep in mind the first and the last page you can only have two on but it'd be cool you could put play sets on each of the pages as well anyways i just kind of want to go through it and load it up with some cards this is an Ultra Pro sleeve card. You can see it's Ultra Pro because it does have the little Ultra Pro gold uh, silver symbol right there. Let's just see how it fits in there. Fits in pretty nicely. This is an Ultra Pro uh, just penny sleeve card. They are bigger, the penny sleeves. They are way taller and they are a little bit wider. Let's just see how it fits in here as well. Penny sleeve fits as well, completely tucked in there. Let's just try, I have some Dragon Shield sleeve cards as well. The Deranged Tournament from my Squirrel deck. Feel free to check out the video if you'd like. Then also the squirrel token as well and a dragon sleeve card. So the sleeve cards fit in there very nicely. Now let's just fit in some unsleeve cards. Just go through and just fit in some unsleeve cards and just see how it fits. Everything slides in very nicely. And then once I fill up the seats a little bit, I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake. Just see if anything gets any movement, anything falls out, anything like that. And just uh, give it my overall review. Honestly, so far... Really satisfied with it. These aren't super expensive. You could probably get one for around $9, which is uh, very inexpensive. Uh, I'm sure you could get a different size binder, maybe even a bigger one for around the same price. But I just wanted this one because it's such a small factory form. You can literally throw it in any little backpack, any little case, any little anything, and not take up too much room and have some nice protection. So some cards. be awesome. Go to bring the Friday Night Magic. Just pull it out on the table. You don't have to worry about carrying a giant binder in your backpack. Literally just uh, a small little like two card uh with uh like width to this binder which is pretty sweet so anyways just sleeved it up with some of the cards we'll just put some cards in some of there and let's just tape it up or bind it up and just give it some shakes honestly i i like know that nothing's gonna fall out of here it's just such a simple design not much can really go wrong with it unless you like try to I don't know, throw it off a plane or cut it with scissors or something like that. More than likely, this is going to stand up to whatever wear and tear you throw at it. Even if you sit on it, I wouldn't be too worried or anything like that. And now uh, I'm just going to open it up like this and I kind of just want to shake it this way. But let's just see what happens. Just give it some really nice twists and throws and whatever and whatnots. And let's just go through, see if any movement. 
I'm worried about uh, the unsleep cards moving, and it looks like, honestly, they are all in the same place still. There has been really no movement at all. Very satisfied with this. Let's just try to take out some of them. Slide out very easily. Uh, these ones are a little bit tight in there. Uh, the Ultra Pro, uh, just penny sleeves. They're a little bit tight in there, but they do fit. Top loaders won't fit in here. They're way too big. Everything just slides in and out very nicely. This black background is some sort of like felt material, felt plastic hybrid, it feels like. And the cards seem to slide on it very well. You can see the reflection here. I'm just going to scratch it with my finger. No scratches or anything like showing up in the PVC, or not the PVC, in the plastic itself. Honestly, super satisfied with this. Uh, just such a small little factory form. Uh, really nice way to protect your cards and a really nice little brief, like a like pocketbook kind of factory form. Awesome little product. Just want to go over it with you all. Check it out with you all. Hope this video was of help to you. And let me know what you think about it. I just want to say thanks for stopping by. And have a beautiful, wonderful day.